Hi everyone. As you know that I have given you one practice test, right? Ratio practice test. So I will solve each and every questions of that practice sets in this videos, and you will get a better understanding of the questions and solutions. And in fact, you can also compare the way you solve the questions and the way I am going to solve these questions. And you can compare that which one will take lesser time accordingly you can adopt that method for that particular question okay so let's start this video so this was the first questions that if x is to y is given as 3 is to 2 and we need to find the values of 3x square plus 4y square upon 2x plus 3y so as you can see guys that x and y's values are not fixed if I'm going to write x values, then I can write that x is 3 times of a and y will be nothing but 2 times of a. So as you can see, the variable that I get here is a and here is also a. So here x square, the variable power will be 2 here and here. But in denominator, the variable power will be only 1. So that means what variable, the numerator and denominator will not get exactly cancelled out. So that is why you will get here the answer in variable form. So the correct answers what we will get here is cannot be determined that is a CB. Now let me show you how you are gonna cannot be determined. So this is 3 times of x square. So can we write 3 into x square is nothing but 2 times of a whole square, right? Plus this is 4 into y square. So y square is nothing but 2 times of a whole square upon 2 times of x and x is nothing but 1 more time 3 times of a plus 3 times of y, y is nothing but 2 times of a. Okay. Now, so this becomes 2 square that is 4 into 3, 12 times of a square plus this is 2 square that is 4 into 4 is 16 times of a. Upon this is 6 times of a plus this is also 6 times of a. So what I'm going to get here is 28 times of a square upon 12 times of a. Now you can see that you will cancel out this a by this and this a square by a and you will get right. So ultimately whatever you will get that will be with respect to a only and a is here variable. So that is why we cannot get a unique value. So if you put a equals to 1 you will get 28 upon 12. If you put 2 you will get 56 upon 12 and show so the correct answers for this questions will be as i already told you that this will be can't be determined or you can say cannot be i hope this is clear to you and let me also tell you guys that in case if you feel any difficulty show this is the whatsapp number and this is the telegram channel number right so you can join the channel and you can even WhatsApp that sir on practice set one ratio practice set one. These questions after watching the videos, my doubts is still. So we will try to overcome your doubts, and again we will explain one to one with you live, right? So don't hesitate to ask any number of times you can ask this. Now this is the second questions. So the second question says that a is to b ratio is, is given as 2 is to 3, b is to c ratio is given as 4 is to 5, c is to d ratio is given as 1 is to 3. We need to calculate a, b, c and d's ratio. So how are we going to calculate? So we are going to calculate in a different manner but the same as I taught in the class. So a is to b, this is given as 2 is to 3. So let's say this is 2. Same I am going to write it, b is to c here. The B is to C is nothing but 4 is to 5 and then is C is to D and C is to D is nothing but 1 is to 3. I have to calculate A is to B is to C is to D. So you can see for A this is 2 into 4 into 1 that becomes 8. Right. For B the work of 2 is done and we will take 3 4 is a 12 into 1. So again this is 12. Now, this 4 is done, we will take now 5, so 3 5s are 15 into 1, so again this is, and now this 1 is done, so 3 5s are 15 into 3, 
So the correct answers will be 8 is to 12 is to 15 is to this will be the right. Let's move on to the next one. That is the third. The ratio of two numbers that is 2 is to okay. If 12 is added to these numbers, the ratio of the resulting numbers will be 5 is to 3. The ratio of the two numbers is 2 is to 3. So can we say 2x upon 3x? Right. The question says that if 12 is added to these numbers, that means agar aap numerator part may be 12 add and if you add 12 to the denominator part also, then you will get 5 by 6. Okay. Now do the cross multiplication. So save it to so this is 14 times of x plus this is 84. That is equals to 5 3 so 15 times of x plus this is right. So now 16 take this side you will get 24 and 15x minus 14x you will get 20 uh, x equals to 20. The question is find the original. So the ratio of the two number is 2 is to 3. So original number that you will get is 2 times of x which is nothing 48 and 3 times of x which is 70. So the correct answers will be 48 and 70. Right now, let's move on to the next one. Fourth one. So, the total number of students in the two schools that is the modern public school and Unnam public school is 620. The total number of students. Now, the ratio of the number of students in these schools is 13 is 2. That means what for modern public school? Right. What we can say is let's say 13 times of. I am going to take y, right? And Munnam public school that I am going to take is 12 times of y. I am taking y because as you can see that here is mentioned that if x students are shifted from modern public school to Munnam public school, the ratio of the number of students in the two schools would be 3 to 2. So if x students are shifted from modern to Munnam, that means what? There are 13 y students in modern. If x students shifted, that means what? Minus x. If we subtract minus x. And definitely this x will get add into the mundam. Upon 12 times of y plus x. Then you will get the relations as 3 by. Okay. Now, let me also tell you. That guys, as you know, that the total number of students in these two schools are given as 620. So if you add these two, that is 13y plus 12y, this becomes 25 times of y, and that will be as 625. So from here only you will get the values of y and 20. 625 will be divided by 25, you will get. Now put this 25 here. So 25 into 13, uh, that will give you 325. Right, so this becomes 325 minus of x, and this is exactly 300 plus of x, then this will give you 3 upon. So, what we can say, guys, this is 650 minus 2 times of x is equal to 600 plus 3 times of x. Take this. This one, this side, so you will get 5 times of x is equals to 50, and hence we can say that x is equals to nothing. So the question is up to find the values of x, and we got the values of x as 10 as this one. Keep in mind one more time I'm explaining that the ratio is given as 13 is to 12, and the total number of students is given as 625. So using these two informations, first we need to calculate the number of students. In modern public school and in Munna public school. Now, after that, we will use this ratio and x will get the values of x. Right? One more time, I am saying, guys, in case if you feel, face any difficulty, you can WhatsApp us. problem? Okay? Now, let's move to the question number 5. So, here this question number 5 says that. A, B and C had a total of 8,000 people. They spent rupees 50, 100 and 200 respectively. 
Now the amounts remaining with them are in the ratio of 14, 22 to 50. What was the amount with B? Keep in mind that the ratio that is given here is after spending 50, 100 and 2. So if I ask you a simple questions, what will be the total values if we add these two ratios? Will it be equal to 8000 or less than 8000? Definitely you will say it will be less than 8000. Why? Because we spend these much. Right. So total how much you spent? I am going to ask you total how much? Uh, combine all three persons. So you can say this is 50 plus 100 plus 200. That means what total 350 we spent. Right guys? So and here this is the ratio for A, B and C. So after we spend total 350, A will have how much? Can we say 14 times of X? We will have how much? 22 times of X. And the C will have how much? 15 times of X. Now the total of these three will become how much guys? So this is 50. Uh, yes, 51 times of x, right? 7 plus 4 is 11 and this is 4 plus 1 is 5. So, 51 times of x. Now, this will be equals to how much, guys? So, this 51 times of x will be equal to 8000 minus 350 because this is not the total amount, right? The 51x after spending this 350. So, what we can say that 51 times of x is nothing but 7650. Right now we need to get the values of x. What will be the values of? X? So this is seven six five zero upon fifty one. Right. Either you can cancel out this using three and then seventeen, or first seventeen and then three. It's up to you. Or directly with fifty one also. So let uh, let me uh, divide it by seven uh, three. So this becomes seventy. And from here we can say this is nothing but twenty five times. This becomes then five times. This is 0. 17, if you calculate, you will get 1 times 17 and this is 5 times. So, x becomes 150. The question was, what was the amount with B initially? So, first of all, we need to calculate the amount that we had after spending some amount. So, that is nothing but 22 times. Of and instead of x, we need to multiply how much? 22 into 150. So, if I am not wrong, I can say this is 25 days, uh, 5 is 110, this is 11, and then this becomes 33. 22 plus 11 becomes 33. So, 33, initially, if we want to calculate, we need to check that how much B spent. So, B spent 100. So, B had initially, or B initially had, uh, that is 3300. Plus rupees 100 that he spent. So the correct answers will be nothing but 3000. Right? I hope this is clear to you. So, one more time explaining that first we need to subtract this 350 from 8000 and that will be equal to these ratios. And after that, we will put and add 100 will get the values of B. Okay? Now let's move on to the next questions, which is this sixth one. So here this says that the ratio of a woman to her daughter is seven is to three. That means what woman to daughter. So women by daughter, we can say this is. Now the woman has twenty six years old. Woman was twenty six years old when she gave birth to her only son. So that means what we can say that women minus son will be equals to 20. Keep in mind the difference between the A's and difference of the A's between two persons will be always constant. Kabi change here. Okay. Now, if her daughter is six years elder to son, that means the difference between daughter and son is six. So daughter minus son. That is how much ways? That is 6. Find the present age of 
we need to calculate the present age of as you know the difference uh, ratio between the water and water is 7 is to 3 can we say that this is 7x and 3x now let's do one thing that if i subtract this this is minus this this will get cancelled out we will get that w minus d is equals to 20 and if you put you will get 7x minus 3 times of x that is equals to 2 which means 4x or we will get x equals to the question is find the present age of women so the women present age is nothing but 7 times of x if we put x 5 we will so the quite basic questions that we discussed in the right one now let's move on to the next questions here it says that a purse contains 1 rupee 2 rupees and 5 rupees points in the ratio of 5 to the total value of all the coins in the purse is rupees 1 how many 2 rupees coins are in so there are 1 rupee coin so first of all i am going to then 2 rupees coins and then 5 rupees and there in the ratio of 5 is to 2 is to 1 so can i say that rupee 1 coin is nothing but 5x rupee 2 rupees 2 coin is nothing but 2 times of x and rupees 5 coin is nothing so the total amount that we will get here is 5x into 1 so how we get the total amount keep in mind the number of roots into the denominations right here rupee 1 2 and 5 is the denominations part okay so this is the denominations part and the below is the number of okay this is the number of or coins whatever is given in the questions right so always number of denominations into the number of coins will give you the total amount so this is 5 times of x into 1 will give you 5x 2x into 2 will give you 4 times of x and x into 5 will give you 5 times of x and that is equals to the total amount so total amount is nothing but 4 so from here we got 14 times of x 140 hence we can say that x is equal to 10 right now the question is how many 2 rupees coins are in the purse 2 rupees coin you know this is nothing but 2 times of x. so the values of 2 times of x become 20 and the correct answers will be nothing but right let's move on to the next question the ratio of the incomes of a and b is 5 is 2 ratio of the income of a and b so I can say that A income which is AI 5 times of then B's income that is BI will be nothing but and the ratio of the expenditure is 3 is to 2 so I can say that A expenditure AE is 3 times of 5 as I had already discussed in the class that different ratio use different value so here is X here right now B's expenditure BE that we can if B saves one third of his income, now the savings formula is B saving will be how much? That is equal to B's income minus B's X. It says that B saves one third of his income. So B's income is how much? 4X. So this is 1 by 3 of B's income, which is 4. Now B's income is how much? This is 4 times of X minus B's expenditure is nothing but 2. So can I take 2 times of y this side, I will get 2 times of y is equal to 4x minus 4x upon right. And what we will get here is 2 times of y is equal to nothing but 8x upon 3. And instead of this y, what we can write is 4 times of x upon. The question is find the ratio of their savings. If you can see that B saving is already in terms of X, 4X upon 3. If we calculate somehow A savings in terms of X, then our job is done. 
So A's savings is nothing but A's income, which is five times of X minus A's expenditure, which is three times of. You can see, guys, if you take three this side, you will get three times of Y is four times X. So here we can put three times of Y is four times of X, five X minus four X, and that is. So the question is find the ratio of their savings. So the ratio of their savings will be age savings upon wage savings. Keep in mind we need to calculate age saving upon wage saving, not B upon S. Why? Because whatever the ratio mentioned here in the question is A to B, not B to B. So A to B, age savings to B savings. So age savings becomes X and B savings is 4X upon 3. So this becomes 4X upon 3. Take this 3 in the numerator side, you will get 3 upon 4. The correct answers be right. Is it clear, guys? Right. Uh, let's move to the next one. Now, this question is nine. The annual incomes of A and B are in the ratio eight is to three, and their expenditure annual expenditures are in the ratio four is to five. If each saves rupees 2000 per annum, what is the annual income of A? So the annual income of A and B, again we will write the same that A's income is nothing but 8 times of B. B's income is nothing but 3 times of B. Next is said and their expenditure are in the ratio 4 is to 1. So A's expenditure is nothing but 4 times of and B's expenditure is nothing but if each saves rupees 2000 per annum, that means what age savings and B savings both are there. So, how we can calculate age savings? That is one more time I am going to write it is income minus age savings is given as 2000 and A's income is nothing but 8 times of X minus this is guys if i take 4 as common i will get this side as 500 and this side is 2 times of x now similarly i am going to write for b savings and directly i am going to write b savings was given in the question base income is nothing but 3 times the question is what is the annual income of a to get the annual income of a keep in mind the annual income of a and b is given as 8 is to 3 so if we calculate somehow the values of x, then we will get the annual income of a. So replace y. So how we can replace y instead of y? Can I write that 2 times of x minus y? If I take y this side and 500 this side. So I am going to write it. This is 2000 is equals to 3 times of x minus of y, uh, which is 2x minus 500. So this becomes minus of 2x and this will be after multiplying with this minus sign. Now, so I am going to get x is equals to 15. As x is 1500, that is why that is income, nothing but 8 times x will give you 12 after putting the values of x as your correct answers will be nothing but 12. Right? Let's move on to the question number 10. Here it says that a man divides rupees 62,500 among his four sons such that four times the share of his son, okay, three times the share of his son, and two times the share of his third son, and the share of his fourth son are all equal. Find the share of, of each of his. Okay, let's say the four sons is nothing but A, B, C, e, and Okay, so it says the fourth son, let's say this is the first one, this is the second son, this is the third and this is the fourth. So it says that the four times the share of his first son, that means what four times of A, that is equals to three times of B, that is equals to two times of C, and that is equals to size. If you remember, I have discussed that the relations like this we can directly calculate the ratio how that a is to b is to c is to d will just become the number multiplied with a is 4 
So this is 4 upon 1, this becomes 1 upon 2, this is opposite. This is 3 upon 1, oh, sorry, this is 1 upon 3, okay. Now next this is 2, so this becomes 1 upon 2 and this is 1 upon 1. Now to take, next part is what, take the LCM of this 4, 3, 2 and 1 and that will be how much guys? Now I am going to take the LCM. A 4, 3, 2, 1 and that will be nothing. Now next multiply all these fraction with 12. We will get the integer ratio. So this becomes 3. This becomes 3, 4, 12. This becomes 2, 6. And this becomes 2, 1. So this becomes the ratio. Now we need to calculate the values. So how we can calculate? Find the ratio. Okay. So find the ratio of each of its sums. So now from here as because total is known, so A can be seen, this is 3 times of X. B will become 4 times of X. C will become 6 times of X and D will become 12 times of X. Now that is equals to 62,500. Okay. So 62,500. So here I have 6 plus 4 is 10. Plus 3 is 30 plus 12. 25 times of x as 62,500. After dividing, we will get x as 25. As soon as we get the values of x as 2500, we can calculate the sales of each of it. So a which is nothing but 2 times of uh, sorry, 3 times of x we got from here. This ratio, right? So 3 times of x this becomes 7,500. B that I got here is times of x and this time x is 25 so this becomes 10,000 c which is 6 times of x this will be just double of this 10,000 and the d is 12 times of x which you can say just double of this which is 30. right guys so the sales of all these four sons will be like this 7500, 10,000, Right? One more time I'm saying that in case if you face any difficulty, do reach out to me on. Okay. Let's move to the next questions, which is now here it says that a sum of money was supposed to be divided between A and B in And was divided among A, B, and C in the ratio 6 is to 5. Due to this, A got rupees 3000 more than expected. B got how much less than expected? So, guys, to look at the first ratio was, and for, at first the number was to divide it between A and B. In the so if I want to calculate the fraction, you can say this is 3 by 8 and B is nothing but but by mistake or whatever be the reason, the amount distributed between A, B and C in the ratio of 6 to 5. So here if you compare the fraction value will be 6 by 15. Right. Which after dividing by 3, 5. B that I will get here is, which I can say 1 by 3. And C, if you want to write, you can write 4 by 5. However, it is, this is not required. That says that due to this, A got 3000 more than expected. Right. Now, can we say the total amount will be same in both the cases? Right. Because amount is not getting changed. So I am going to say here x. So a got rupees 3000 more than the expected. Right. So that means that this value is more than the, this expected. So this value is how much guys? 2 by 5. 2 by 5 times of this x total minus this is 3 by 8 times of x and that is equal to how? If you take the LCM, it will become 40. This is 16 times of x. This is 15 times of x. 
that is equals to three. So x I'm gonna calculate this is one lakh twenty thousand. The values of x. The question is we got how much less than expected. Okay. So the number that we got. So I can directly calculate it that we got five by eight of this one lakh twenty. So in this you can say fifteen times fifteen thousand. So this becomes seventy five thousand expected values, right? And whatever got here B is one third of the same number that is one lakh twenty thousand, which you can say forty thousand. So B got thirty five thousand less amount. Than they expected, thirty-five thousand less than expected, and yes, this is your right. Are you getting this? This is your correct. That's it. One more time, I'm saying, guys, in case if you face any difficulty, the first things that you can do is. Again, watch the recording for that particular questions where you have the difficulty still not clear. Then do reach out to me on the okay. So that was the last question of the ratios practice set one. So see you in the next class, in the next videos, next practice videos. Till then, take care. Bye bye.